All right, so I'm mostly doing this against my better judgment, but I swear I tried something else. Um, I've been enjoying Shadow of the Ninja Reborn quite a bit lately. It's a remake of an NES game. Uh, it's a side-scroller action game. It's pretty difficult, but it's a lot of fun to play. And then I, I was looking at YouTube because this is what I do, uh, and I always like to hear what other people have to say about the games I enjoy or don't enjoy. And I stumbled on, upon many, many, many reviews. Many reviewers are trying to ride the algorithm of new games. And I stumbled on this one. And this one was so bad. You know, usually when I find something bad, I just click off the video and go my merry way. But this one, it was so bad that I left a comment. Just saying, uh, because the reviewer, if we, if I, we can call it that, uh, was talking about, hey, there's no game manual, it's crazy hard, how can I understand how to jump? And uh, I pointed out in a comment, like, yo, in the option menu, there's, you know, a manual. And he shadow banned me. So I decided to make a response video. So here we are. Here's a snippet of what you can expect in this video. Um, there's no in-game tutorial or, you know, manual teaching you all of your moves. There's a basic control menu for the buttons like, oh, this is attack, this is jump. But then you have hidden moves that you just don't know you have, like a twirl that keeps you airborne, your long, and you have a downward slash that isn't explained anywhere. Even your main weapon, you have something like a ninja bar that gets powerful, but if you get hit, it goes down. It doesn't teach you any of that, which is, you know, completely fine and all. But for anyone who actually isn't a fan of this going for the first time, it just feels bad. Like, okay, I was, you know, I'm just playing with stunted uh, abilities. I, I, what's going on? So, yeah, oof. There's no manual anywhere to be found, and it's like, bro there there's one here and so i commented you can see i commented here um i commented about you know what he said there's no in-game tutorial manual well yes except for the detailed in-game manual in the option menu that explains all the ui and etc i just you know went a bit further and then i went and look in uh, incognito mode. You can see here I'm in incognito on this screenshot. My comments is not there anymore. So he, he shadow banned me. So I decided to watch the whole review and talk with you about <laughs> what it is. So let's, let's, let's watch this fantastic Remake review. Remake of an NES game that was released in the early 1990s. This new Reborn has overhauled graphics, new weapons, tweak levels, time trials, a normal hard mode, and even an equipment shop for customizing your starting run. Up but until now, he's right. Well, there's a lot of good here, but definitely some bad. Let's talk about it. All right, guys, so my goal here is to explain what this game is, give you my... And just to be honest, I have played the game maybe seven, eight hours, unlocked about half of the uh, trophies on PlayStation. And yeah, it is a very difficult game, but the gameplay you're seeing here that he provided with his review is probably under half an hour of playtime. And you know, my whole thing, if, if you can, you know, put it, on the shortest form possible, it's just, it should not be called a review, it should be called a first impression. It's, man, it's it's so bad. Let's, let's move on. Personal thoughts, and then who I think should be recommended to actually, you know, buy and play this game. All right, so I recommend you to buy and play this game. Scrolling platformer. If you like action games, this is ninja really good. Named Hayate or Kaede. It really doesn't matter. They control the same. You have a run. You can crowd. Okay, this is this is quite false. Actually, they don't control the same at all. If you use the male ninja, uh, you you get to jump a bit higher and a bit farther. And if you use the girl ninja. Uh, she she's having a more limited jump, but she's running a bit faster on the ground, 
and she's slashing the sword a bit faster, which might not seem like a big deal, but, uh, you know, there there's those big dudes that are shooting um, with a super big gun, they're, they're big yellow dudes, and with uh, Ayate, I, 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 I need two to string of, of them because they shoot, then they block for a while, and then they shoot again. And, and, and you know, you, you crouch when they shoot, you slash them, and then you wait their block, and then you slash them again. With a Kaede, I can, I can kill them in one go because she makes it closer to them faster, and she slashes a bit faster, which makes quite a bit difference when you're playing for score. So they, they don't play the same at all. Well, I mean, it's not night and day either, okay? But they they do not play the same. And I would think somebody who's making a review of a game would pick up on that. She got different climbing, wall jumping, attacks, and even some advanced stuff like a long-range Kusarigami uh, or Kusarigama and a lot of consumables like weapons and healings that have limited use but you can find throughout the different stages. Uh, the game has five levels and 14 stages between them all. Okay, the game doesn't have five levels. There is six stages. It's it's clearly, you know, <laughs> you can't, you know, you can't get that one wrong. Uh, it's funny because in the comment, they uh, corrected themselves saying, oh, by the way, I totally forgot there's a sixth stage, which is completely new, completely you know, not a part of the NES uh, version. And actually, I don't want to sound too pedantic here, but the sixth stage actually f was featured in the NES game. The new stage is the fourth one. The fourth stage doesn't, you know, is not a part of the original NES game. Well, same with the original. This new one follows the same formula, lots of the same environments and enemies, but there are tweaked Tweak the ones here and there, and obviously the yeah. enemies look a lot you, you more need, crazy. You need a reviewer to tell you, you that the, the graphics are, are different from mode, the and NES Later on, one. you can do the time trial. On hard mode, as I've seen, there are more enemies, and then there are small variations with some enemy attacks like bosses. If you play the time trial later, you can only play the stages that you have at least completed once in normal or hard mode. In this game, you have one life and then it's game over. You do restart from the start of the stage. And if you do get through a stage without dying, you end up banking money and then you unlock see, the equipment. See, we could see the there that he runs, didn't make it to stage can three. Then be purchased as your starting you know? loadout in order to beat runs because the game's not really that long. But once you use up those equipment, How would you it's know really you did gone, not finish so the game? It's temporary, like really temporary. Um, here there are there is multiplayer where you can play simultaneously on the same screen kind of like Contra And honestly, that's pretty much the game You just fight and jump your way through many stages arcade style and you try your best not to die and you know get high scores The replayability comes from the different time trials and of course beating the game on hard mode with certain equipment loadouts But that's pretty much it. Let's move over to my review. So here we have Ooh, some good the review. and All right. bad stuff. Thank the God. Enlighten me. Animations are beautiful. It's really a nice game to look at. It is. I love the I would agree. level designs and the addition of multiple consumable weapons are a good thing. Honestly, though, I wasn't expecting this from this being a side a side scrolling platformer, but the controls are not good. And what do I mean by that? Well, oh, I was man. looking at footage of the original game and it looks way smoother than this new one. What what does that even mean? I mean, the simple act of turning left and right, you are stunted for a brief moment as extra animations play that really isn't needed. Yeah, it, it, okay, you can like it or not, it, it's fine, but the controls are not bad. The controls are incredibly precise, they are commitment heavy, and they are intentional. So what I'm trying to say here is that if you, it's not a game about reacting to the last second about something coming your way. It's a game about learning the stages, learning where are the pitfalls, where are the, the, the problem, the troubles, and preparing for that. Same with the use of the items. This is a game where you, you anticipate 
what you'll be doing and then you do it at the right time. It is not a reactive game. It is not a game where you, it's not Scorchbringer. It's it's not a game about quick reflexes and, you know, twitchy gameplay. It, it's 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 very what you're doing is very intentional and and the the, the stages are designed to work with that. And I will I will agree with them that at first I thought it was here's a word it, it was very weighty everything felt heavy you know you you don't run quite as fast as you would like you don't turn quite as fast as you would think in a platformer you don't jump quite as as quickly there's some kind it's not an input delay because as soon as you press a button the animation start but there is some kind of delay be you know between the time you press the button and the action is completed and once you engage in an action let's say i chose to slash my sword well as long as the animation of that is not done I i'm stuck there so if a bullet is incoming i cannot dodge i cannot dash because i'm committed to the sword slash i i made um and it, it did not catch up on that. You can dislike it. It's perfectly fine. There is like 20,000 games releasing each year. You cannot like them all. You cannot play them all. And you should not try to review them all. I went into this dude channel and um, look at a few games I know pretty well. Uh, yeah... <laughs> They are not good reviews. They are first impression, and I I, I would strongly um, suggest this dude to change his the way he's titling his video because this is very misleading. This is not a review. Anyway, it slows you down, which sucks in fast-paced platformers where you need it's, to be perfect. It's not the equipment cycling isn't It's not a fast-paced platformer and the the equipment cycling is about to talk it, it is about when you want to use an equipment or an item uh, heating, let's say. You have to cycle through. You can get up to 7 pieces of, you know, optional gear on you and you have to do this in real time because the game is intentional. You should have prepared. You know at this boss you'll need health. Well, before you engage the boss, put your healing item on the first slot. So once you need it, you can use it quickly. You'll have, you have to learn the game. The difficulty of this game is the content of this game. Because when you know what you're doing, the game, you can complete it in 45 minutes. 50 maybe i don't know less than an hour for sure but the first time it took me five six seven hour to to complete it because i didn't know i had to practice the different stages and different parts some parts still are giving me a lot of problems i need to practice i need to learn maybe this is not the game for you which is completely fine but don't don't make a video a review saying oh th this is how bad it plays in my objective way of thinking you, you you just didn't get the game and you made a review about it after playing it for 30 minutes anyway great either you can quick swap between your main weapon and the last equipment but if you want to choose another you have to stop everything hold down a button and then cycle through it all while enemies are trying to kill you it's yes a lot prepare more cumbersome than it sounds and honestly it should have been instant like in Mega Man X you just press one button for example uh, there's no in-game tutorial yeah we've or, uh, yeah that's you know, not manual true manual teaching you all of your moves there is there's a, a manual in the option menu, menu. For the buttons like oh this is attack this is jump you, you can't you miss it hidden moves that you just don't know you if you have, go into the option like menu. a twirl that keeps you airborne you're long and you have a downward slash that isn't explained anywhere even your main weapon you have something like a ninja bar that gets powerful but if you get hit it goes down it doesn't teach you any of that which is yes, you know, it completely does. fine this, and all this is misinformation is J just crouch here just fucking crouch time, it just feels bad like okay i was you know Stop i'm just jumping. playing with stunted uh, abilities I, I what's going on 
honestly for this game I would recommend it only for those who are fans of the original game or if you really want to sink a couple of hours into a retro game from the past this is a pretty tough game but I had a Crouch. lot of fun as the challenge was fair and once you get used to the controls it gets smooth but honestly like, okay really, okay the whoa, 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 whoa. Feeling. so so the controls you said one minute earlier the controls are bad and then it's like once you get used to the control it's super smooth yeah Great the review, my dude. And cumbersome equipment cycling really could have been remedied. So there you go. Uh, it was a quick review, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you with some gameplay. Dude, six minutes too long. Fights. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, the full video, if you want to see, is on the Mobby vs. Games 2 channel, which is my Let's Play channel. Link in the description. Let me know what you guys think about this oh. game. Have you tried this one out? Have you played the original? What do you think about my opinions? And of course, let us know yours. As what do you think of my opinion? Let us know. I'm giving you my opinion and you shadow ban me. And I did not use any bad words. It was it was really just like, uh, yo, there's a manual in the game. I think I added I'll I'll put on screen my uh, I'll put on screen my um my comments that I left. Uh, I, I did add a little snarky remark like, oof, uh, this review, uh, there was not much research involved in this review. But, you know, I didn't use any curse words or any slurs or any personal attack. It was just, eh, did, you know, you didn't went that, that deep with this. So, um... That was it. That was uh, the well, worst thanks review. Well, watching and enjoy the rest of the video. Uh, That's what it feels like, anyway. This this, this was the first re review I've seen about uh, Shadow of the Ninja Reborn. Uh, I was, I, I'm, I, I'm really, you know, as I'm finishing recording this, I'm really on the fence. Will I publish that or not? It is not. If you go watch the rest of my channel, I don't engage in drama. I'm, I'm very. I talk about games that I enjoy. I talk about uh, subjects, gaming subjects that I care about, and I talk, I talk about you know, cheese and tea. Um, I, I don't want to engage too much into, like, you know, beef between people, but this review, I think th there's just too much misinformation in, in, in it. I, I don't think it should be, uh, it should be called a review. This is, uh, fortunately, there's only 86 views, so that that's good. At least we have that. Uh, but enough, enough bitching. Uh, I'll go do something else. I'll go actually. I'm gonna go and play uh, Shadow of the Ninja Reborn and perfect my uh, stage five routine. This is what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna have a blast, a blast with the fantastic controls. So anyway. <laughs> Thanks a bunch for watching. If you're still here, let me know what you think of uh, Shadow of the Ninja Reborn. Uh, I won't shadow ban you because, you know, I uh, I don't do that. I think this is scummy. All right. Thanks for watching. Now go do something else. Go play games. Bye-bye.